Hi everyone, I'm Kane from Wayne State University with more Chinese cognates, words borrowed from English and other Western languages. Today's segment is medicine, chemicals, and drugs. Let's get started. First, here are some things you might find at a hospital or drugstore. Some people supplement their nutrition by taking a vitamin. For headache or for reducing inflammation, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. If you need a very strong painkiller, your doctor might prescribe mafe, morphine. To cover a wound, you will need a feng dai. If you have an infection, your doctor might prescribe amoxicillin, amoxicillin. Then there is that chemical used as a disinfectant and preservative in the manufacturing of various resins and plastics, fluoramalin, formaldehyde. It's more ubiquitous than you think. Can't diagnose what's wrong from the outside? Try looking on the inside with an X guang. Guang means light. Okay, let's digress a little and talk about things that might be more recreational than medicinal. Need an eye opener? Try some caffeine. If it's later in the afternoon or evening, however, you might prefer coffee that is decaffeine, decaffeinated. Ask for decaffeine cafe. If you go to Cuba, you might want to try smoking a xue jia. And of course, cigars and other tobacco products contain an addictive stimulant called ni gu ding. There are also products that are lower in nicotine, which we call di ni gu ding. Not exactly without nicotine, but with lower nicotine levels. Now repeat after me. Wei ta ming. A si pi lin. Ma fei. Beng dai. A mo xi lin. Fu er ma lin. X guang. Ka fei yin. Di ka fei yin. Di ka fei yin ka fei. Xue jia. Ni gu ding. Di ni gu ding. Now, if you go to a hospital or drugstore in China, you will be armed with a few more words. Hope this helps. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube or Youku. 再见!